All right, this is how to do I Me Mine by the Beatles off of the Let It Be album. Um, I saw the Get Back documentary. I thought it was really, really good. Um, kind of depressing, but really, really good. Um, I'm even wearing the shirt right now. Um, but the reason why I'm doing this song is because I felt like I finally got like the grasp of it, of how I think it sounds. Um, and this is one of the songs they... They didn't really focus a lot on, on the documentary. I'd say the ones they focused the least on were this song, Across the Universe, um, One After Nine or Nine. What else? Uh, I think that's pretty much it. Yeah. Those were like the songs that they focused the least on. Um, <clears throat> so what I'm going to show you is the intro, uh, verse part bridge and then like the kind of like solo middle thing kind of thing um it's a pretty complicated song but i thought it's probably like one of my favorites off the album um okay so the intro is a power chord a power chord so it's just first finger fifth fret sixth string ring finger seventh fret fifth string Now what you're going to do is you're going to hammer on from the 5th to the 7th fret on the 4th string. You're going to do the exact same thing. Move that down onto the 3rd string. So all together. After you do that last hammer on, you're going to slide that up to the 9th fret on the 3rd string. Now what you're going to do is get your pointer finger, put that on the 8th fret of the 2nd string, and then you're going to put your ring finger on the 10th fret. So you're going to go 8, 10. Okay? You can do vibratos and stuff like that if you want to. Um, next, what you're going to do is the exact same thing that you did over here, but just on the 1st string. But on that 10th fret of the first string, you want to kind of play that note staccato. It's just going to be a short note. It's going to be definitely shorter than the, the first one. Okay, now once you do that, you want to bend up on that 10th fret of the first string. Go back to the 8th, back to 10, and then 10 on the 2nd string. And again, you can add vibrato wherever you want. Okay, so here's the intro. Okay, so you can just slow that down and, and uh, you know, as you play it, just play it slowly and then get faster. So you can kind of go along to the speed of the actual album version of the song. Okay. So next is the verse kind of thing. So it's an A minor. I'm just going to do a regular A minor chord here. So it's just down, down, up, down, up. Down, down, up, down, up. After you do that, you're going to go to the, put your pinky on the third fret of the fourth string. You're going to hit that note. And then do down, up, down, up on the A minor again. From the A minor, you're going to go to a, a D, what is this, D7? So D7 is 1st um, string, 2nd fret, 2nd string, 1st fret, 3rd string, 2nd fret. And you're going to do that picking pattern twice on that note, on that chord. So... From that D7, you're going to go to that G. E. 
back to A minor. And you're gonna play that twice. So all together, that first part of the verse goes like this. Okay, so you're gonna do that twice. Okay, so now this is kind of the tricky part because you're going to be doing a lot in a short amount of time. Um, but once you, you really get into it, it, it becomes really easy. So what you're going to do is make this D minor chord. So that's going to be first string, first fret, second string, third fret, third string, second fret. So you're going to do that same picking pattern. And then you're going to put your ring finger that's not doing anything on top of your middle finger. So that's going to be on the second fret of the fourth string. So it's going to go. Okay. Then you're going to move that ring finger that you just put down over onto the third fret of the fourth string. Now what you're gonna do is take away those uh, that ring and middle finger. So you're just gonna play the the first fret, first string, third fret, second string. Okay. So from here, you're gonna bar the first um, first three strings onto the first fret, you're gonna keep your pinky where it was, and you're gonna play that chord. And then you're gonna put your middle finger back onto that second fret of the third string. Okay? to a regular E chord. Play that picking pattern twice, okay? Okay, so here's the kind of bridge solo part of the song. Um, I don't know how, you know, like I said, I don't know exactly how the song is like technically structured, but this is basically where the part, um, the part of the song where he speeds up. Um, so it starts off with that A uh, power chord, boogie woogie kind of thing, classic rock and roll. Once you do that once, you're gonna put your your ring and middle finger. Middle finger is gonna be on the sixth fret, second string, seventh fret, um, third string. You're gonna slide from here two frets, and then do that again. Now what you're gonna do is slide from that ninth back to the seventh. Back to the fifth, back to seventh, back to fifth. Okay, so that's the first part. Second part's basically the exact same thing, but that last note is not there. So. two parts together are okay so this third part um, what you're gonna do is instead of being here again you're gonna slide up to the 12th fret to that C power chord same boogie woogie kind of thing and then you're gonna go to the 13th on the 2nd 
second string, and then 14th on the third string. And you're gonna hit those two uh, strings again. And then you're gonna slide down on the last one. It's kind of like the first one I showed you, just that same eighth power chord, boogie woogie. Then you're going to slide from that ninth back to the seventh, back to the fifth, back to that seventh, back to that fifth, and then uh, pull upwards on that seventh. And what you're going to do is bar across the fifth uh, fret. You're going to do the first, second, and third string. And then you're going to bend up again on that seventh. And then fifth. And then seventh of the fourth string. So that part goes. into the verse. Okay, so that whole bridge kind of solo thing goes like this. C chord here instead of over here. It's up to you, whichever way you want to do it. Um, I think at times this one's easier, at times this one's easier to get to. You know, it's, it's completely up to you. Same chord, um, same notes. But yeah, man, that's basically the whole entire song. <laughs> I can try to play the full, you know, intro, verse, and then middle part back to the verse. Um, I'll try to do it now, and if I mess up, then oh well. Um, but here it is. the hardest part because you got to go faster but anyway man that's it hopefully it's uh, helpful if i went a little bit too fast go back i guess and try to you know decipher what i was doing um but yeah man that's it see you in the next one in like two weeks or you know however long it take to make another one